हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलेट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस इज द पार्ट टू फॉर द पेपर एनालिसिस ऑफ ए एस आर बी ए आर एस नेट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस पेपर विच वॉज कंडक्टेड इन दिस ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सो आफ्टर द पार्ट वन मोस्ट ऑफ यू आस्ट फॉर द पार्ट टू एंड इन द पार्ट वन वी हैड डिस्कस थर्टी फोर क्वेश्चन एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी विल डिस्कस फोर्टी क्वेश्चन सो बिफोर गोइंग टू द क्वेश्चन आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक्स Hussain Bhatt, Sarita Bist and Nidhi for sharing all these questions as the memory based question. So let's start today's video. So the first question is which came in exam was the weather flag disease in plants is due to which of the following gases as the air pollutant? And the options the options were ozone, carbon monoxide and different options were there and among them the correct option will be option ozone yes ozone is the gaseous air pollutant which is responsible for the weather flag disease and this weather flag disease is mostly seen in case of tobacco plant yes chalte hamare second question ki taraf the second question was distillery spent waste liquid comes out of which of the following industries so here the point lies in the concept yes if you know the meaning of distillery then you can easily answer this question so distillery comes from the word distillation yes distillation is done in case of sugar cane industry where we get sugar that's why this option sugar industry will be the correct option where the distillery spent waste liquid comes out of the industry next question is apatheni type water harvesting method is used in which of the following states and options were himachal pradesh jammu and kashmir arunachal pradesh and among them the correct option will be arunachal pradesh so those who have chosen the option arunachal pradesh they will get the full mark next question was very very important i have already repeatedly said you should go and look into the water quality parameters the limit and the question was for the iron and lead in the drinking water desirable limit in milligram per liter and the options were as followed and among them the correct option will be this option where 0.3 is the desirable limit for iron that is fe milligram per liter and 0.01 is the desirable limit for lead that is pb in the water drinking water in milligram per liter let's move to the next slide the next question was frigid zone temperate zone and tropical zone are related to what whether they are related to forest types or regions of the earth so something like that it was an option and that option will be correct that is the regions of the earth is the frigid zone temperate zone and tropical zone they are divided and you should know what is this frigid zone because we all know what are tropical zone what are temperate zone similarly what are this frigid zone these are the area or region between the arctic circle and the north pole or between the antarctic circle and the south pole so this area is the region between the north pole and the arctic region this region we can say otherwise it is also the region which is called as in between the south pole and the antarctic circle so this is important frigid zone next is production and consumption of ozone depleting substances was first controlled under which of the following convention or protocol and you all will be knowing montreal protocol is related to in the year 1987 for controlling the ozone depleting substances but it was initially started in the vienna convention in the year 1985 so these are very important for any environmental science entrances you should note down all this thing so here the correct option will be vienna convention was the first convention where the control of this ozone depleting substances their production and consumption their matter was discussed next question was related to something allelopathy and allelopathy very very common term it is a biological phenomena by which an organism produces one or more biochemicals that influence the germination growth survival and reproduction of other organism so simple words mein agar kahenge this is mostly seen in case of plants if plants usually follow this technique this is the allelopathy where they used to produce the toxins or the biochemicals which is restricting other plants to grow in their region so this is allelopathy next question was organic layer in the soil horizon so this question most of you have done wrong organic layer in the soil horizon will be the o horizon not the a horizon so that will be o horizon and in the picture you can see that o means organic horizon from this word also you can say that that is organic layer and next you can see the a horizon which is called a surface horizon and b horizon is the subsoil region c horizon is called the substratum and r is known as the bedrock region so this is also important kindly note down 
let's move to the next slide so here some more questions the question was what should be there in ANOVA so analysis of variance is the full form of ANOVA and the options were standard deviation mean degree of freedom or all of these so correct option will be all of these yes all these things are present in the ANOVA so all of this will be the correct option next question was intensity of earthquakes is measured by very easy question Mercalli scale is used to measure the intensity of earthquake also seismographs are also used for measuring the intensity of the earthquake let's move to the next question the next question was the study of past climate very easy paleo climatology paleo means past or old climatology is the study of climate so past climate study will be paleo climatology next question was sikkim is in which biogeographic zone in india options were himalayan zone trans himalayan zone or northeast region and here you should know that india has divided its biogeographic zone into 10 zones and sikkim is coming under the himalayan zone yes sikkim will come under the himalayan zone of the biogeographic zone of india next the thing was iucn red list category is having how many categories and the correct option will be nine categories and what are they they are not evaluated data deficient least concern near threatened vulnerable endangered critically endangered extinct in the wild and completely extinct so these are the nine important categories for iucn red list let's move to the next slide next slide was which is the sink for carbon so sink for carbon means where the carbon goes and it is stored so the correct option will be options were given salt water bodies wetland oceans the correct option will be all of these these all these bodies are sink for carbon they store them and also you should know that forests are also the carbon sink next question was which among the following is high cloud in options it was cirrus cloud nimbus stratus cloud and the correct option will be cirrus cloud is known as the high cloud next question was unit of radiation among the options and in the option rontgen was given which is denoted as capital r and it is the unit of radiation for measuring the x-rays and also gamma rays next question was agar agar is obtained from which of the following given options in the options gelidium was the option and which will be the correct option and you should also know this agar agar is a gelatin like jelly like product made primarily from the red algae that is gelidium and gracilaria so you should know apart from gelidium gracilia are also used to produce this gelatin like substance that is agar agar let's move to the next slide next question was lincoln index measures what and here among the four options the correct option will be lincoln index measure the population size of the organism and what is population size population size is very simple that is number of organism that is denoted as capital n is same as population size and what is population density density is number of population per unit area the next question was a reduction in stratospheric ozone causes what so it is telling that if the ozone in the stratospheric region decreases which is a very very matter of concern then what will happen it will increase the uvb coming from the solar radiation to reach the earth and affect our lives next question was which among the following is the strongest uv wavelength of the uv rays and the options correct will be uvc is the strongest but you should know uvc is having the least wavelength so wavelength least but it is having the most frequency so that's why it is the most strongest and you should know that uva is having the wavelength of 315 to 400 nanometer uvb is having the wavelength of 280 to 320 around nanometer and uvc is having 100 to 280 nanometer wavelength let's move to the next slide the next slide was the question was what are doldrums or something the related to doldrums so in the options you should select they are the equatorial low pressure belt for example this is the earth and this is the equator region and here the here if the low pressure is built in the belt of the equator it will be called as doldrums next question was climate classification is done by which of the following and the correct option will be it is done by the Köppen's classification it is also important climate classification Köppen classification se kiya jata hai. next question was puga valley in ladakh is famous for what and here the correct option will be puga valley is known for the geothermal energy they are having hot geysers and spring that's why they are famous for geothermal energy next question was world's largest operating tidal power station is located where and it is located in south korea that is siwa lake tidal power station which is in south korea 
next question was hydrological cycle related to that the question was somewhat that involves the continuous circulation of water in the earth atmosphere system and one option was also there hydrology cycle so those who were confused they would have done the wrong mistake thing and here the correct option will be hydrological cycle more appropriate next question was what does the ndir detects ndir full form is non dispersive infrared and this detects mostly carbon oxides that is carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide and it is also measuring hydrocarbons for your knowledge i am telling you hydrocarbons in a gas is also measured through ndir but in the option it was carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide so that will be the correct option let's move to the next slide and here the next slide the question was west and geek method or west geek method is used to analyze and detect what and it is used to measure sulfur dioxide concentration next question was acidic soil in the tropical forest correct option will be alti soils are the acidic soils found in the tropical forest next question was related to phytostabilization the, what is the meaning of phytostabilization you have to identify the answer will be plants reduce the mobility and migration of contaminants mostly the heavy metals in soil through that absorption process which is known as the phytostabilization so these plants phyto means plants they stabilize this migration of contaminants mostly heavy metals like lead in the soil through the adsorption technique next question was which is lethal among the options and in the option it was gamma radiation so gamma radiation is very very lethal that will be the correct option next question was dwelling place of an organism dwelling place means the address so that thing will be the habitat of that organism is the dwelling place of an organism niche is the profession of that organism should not get confused next question was cfcs have been replaced by what the correct option will be they are replaced by hfcs they are hydrofluorocarbons which also deplete the stratospheric ozone but as compared to cfc they are having much lesser impact on the ozone layer let's move to the next slide the next slide was the pyranometer is what so it is a device that measures solar irradiance from a hemispherical field of view incident on a flat surface so pyranometer is used to measure solar irradiance that is coming from the solar rays next question was which is the non symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria and among the option the correct option will be clostridium is the non symbiotic or it is also called as free living bacteria so you should note down all these things they are also very important free living bacteria or non symbiotic nitrogen fixing bacteria are cyanobacteria which are blue green algae anabina nostoc and the azotobacter bajernica and clostridium species similarly what are mutualistic which are called as symbiotic bacteria the examples are rhizobium species frankia which are associated with the dicot plants they are actinorhizal plants and certain azospirillum species are also the mutualistic or symbiotic kind of nitrogen fixing bacteria so you should note down this is very important next question was what is a blizzard and blizzard you should know it is a natural disaster due to atmospheric characterization what happens in blizzard in blizzard long lasting snowstorm with very strong winds and intense snowfall takes place that is known as blizzard jahan pe long lasting snowstorm hota hai strong winds and intense snowfall let's move to the next slide the next questions are on your screen the question is which ministry in india deals with the national disasters options were minister of environment and forest or home ministry so home ministry will be the correct option which deals with the national disaster the next question was india's first disaster management plan under the reign of which prime minister so if this was the question the correct option would be narendra modi but if the question was national disaster management authority then the correct option will be dr manmohan singh under whom this authority was formed this management authority but first disaster management plan was under narendra modi next question was important parameters used in wastewater estimation or wastewater analysis options were bod cod ph and all of these so correct option will be all of these are the important parameters for water estimation or water treatment next is a wind turbine transforms which energy into which energy so if in the option it was there mechanical energy of the wind to electrical energy it will be correct and in also the option is having kinetic energy of the wind to produce electrical energy will be also correct so it will depend what was there in option both these things are correct So I hope you have enjoyed this and you have learned something from here. If you want to participate in the daily quiz, you can join our Telegram group Learn for the Environment. Link is in the description. So hurry up and join there for regular quizzes. 
Stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed the channel till now, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get all further updates.